feel very blessed, very privileged to visit uh, this church partner uh, today. I could see that the church leaders of this church, they do own the ministry, child ministry, and they are very passionate. And I could see from all the pastors and all the stakeholders, uh, the project workers, they do love the children. The vision of our church is a community transformed by Christ, transforming our world in Christ. We are teaming up with the parents to light up the gospel. When we light up the gospel in those homes and in this neighborhood, we believe it will drive out the darkness itself. The gospel has to come. All our purposes, we are in by prayer, we are in by resources, we are in by availability, we are in by loving and opening our doors and our hearts. We are in. Releasing them from poverty, not in our name, in the name of Jesus. Currently, we have 412 registered beneficiaries, and out of the 412, 15 of them are survival beneficiaries or participants. Then we have 41 who are in the home based program, that is between the age of 0 to 2. For this one, we we usually do programming for them at home. We do one home visit once in a month, and then we also have a group activity for them once in a month whereby they come to the church. We have those who are in the center-based program, three to five. We have 65 participants. Then we have six to eight, we have 29 of them. Nine to 11, we have 61. 12 to 14, 25, 15 to 18, we have 113. So you can see most of our participants are youths. Then we have 19 plus 63 of them. We have put them into various groups, savings groups, and they are also in groups whereby they can visit each other and talk. And now know how they can assist each other. Because most of them are having the same challenges, parenting, some families are having issues, so they can be able to, to help each other well. Then we also organize for community service. This is especially done by the youth beneficiaries when they are in holiday. We do clean up with them around the community, and then we also do children's home visits. I also do the video lesson chapter. In the Discover Life program, we go through several classes which takes nine weeks in total, and one is the leadership class. In the entrepreneurship class, we are challenged to start and run an income generation business not only for the class, but also after we finish the classes as we go out. And after the nine weeks of class time, uh, we have a one full week, which is the tenth week. We go on a one week camp away from civilization, no phones, no parents, no one around us. It's sort of frank, but it helps us to be prepared for the life that is coming. We know we don't have to be very confident because after 22 years, you release us, right? We have to end the loss. I did my YMD back in the year 2019 also. And this was my first turn about COVID. It was in Daraja. Daraja in Tuiru. Uh, when well, it had a big impact, I was in drug addiction. But through that, I was helped through the office. I went through a rehabilitation center. And I'm changed. You get to know and understand your stories your experiences that you have considered that you don't come from a good background, but we use that to strengthen and to put focus on the way we are where we are going. I'm a student at Tomokinata University, professor and degree in Batwa of corporate communication and management. Excited to be here.
comes to standards trying to promote that. One thing that I love about the project is that we are so into inclusion, we are so much into it. They are always there for us. As much as we take leadership classes here, they also give us leadership training too. Uh, we had a company in Naibasha, it was so I joined last week, CYBC in 2008. I was in class four. I finished my primary high school now. After finishing high school, we joined the Discover Life to do our 10th program. I was the outstanding student. I was given some amount for that. I spent 2,500 and I used to start small business. I was working on electronics because I do electronic. I did electronic installation sometimes. So I started doing electrical cooking, like protectors, earphones, chargers, and things of size. But as time went by, I was briefly to open a small kiosk where now I added more stock, did my business, I continued to educate. Now I'm having a shop, electronic shop. Using my business, I've been able, because in our home, we don't have plant units. So I just went and purchased a small piece of land. I went for business classes that day. I thought I went business, I went in iPhone. I have to pay myself. I thought the business is money, but I was not in business, you have to pay yourself. Salary. So I learned and I started saving. That's how I acquired my small piece. I started building. It's yet to complete, but I'm still looking for funds to complete it within a short time. My name is Jennifer Dena. I'm a single mother of five children. I came here with a lot of tears on my face. I've known how to fight spiritually, mentally, and physically. I've known how to tackle. I've known how to tackle. Every area in my life, every area, when you see Jesus come like this, I know I will go like this. I'm the latest and largest beneficiary of this problem. I was supported. I started my business with 10,000 and now my business is running up to 50,000. My name is Faith Nanimeoko. I'm saved and love God. And this is how the Lord has done so much to me. Uh, if you see people crying, just let them cry. Because you cannot just imagine how they are coming. And then you may just like that. We have to cry. As we think, the fact that God has taken us, as my God has said. I was not aware if one day, one time, I will stand in front of people, being God a teacher. But this is how the compassionate act of the compassion has made me a pastor. And that God, because I, I, I can now preach, I can teach even in Burkina Faso. We are blessed. Amen. I'm so proud. Everything happens with God as is for us to reason. And when one door closes, one opens. I thank you for Lord because that far for that three years I was being supported, I was lifted up from Kibila slum. I came to Mbakasi. Now I can't go, I can't go back to the slum. For the knowledge I have much more enough now, I can't go back again to slum. I can't tolerate even my kid one day. I 
can be able to pay for my kids for that 3,000. Yet I was paying for 9,000 when I was staying there. I cannot be able to pay for a rent of 10,000. For my own, I was paying before 2,500. Beauty and Salon, the name. Um, I wanted to give it a glorious beauty and salon, but because of the space is too, I can't manage it to do it. But my name is Glorious by the glory. Yeah. So the way it is, it has two months and a half. I decided to make this location because earlier I was staying along further. And along further, the area is moving, a lot of moving. But when you come to this interior area, you find some people come from here up to further to search for the beauty, those, those things, beauty, beauty, not even salon. Salon, they are common. But for the beauty ones, you find someone is coming from here up to further for that, either manicure or something like that. Yeah, I've grown up in these months. I have seen this place change. I have relatives with my own. So I know. And I know the challenges that we have to deal with. Issues of drugs, issues of uh, crime, teenage pregnancies. And these are marvelous stories that we've been hearing from the survival. You know, it's one thing to sit back in the office and we are crafting strategies and uh, we are thinking and we are discussing, but when you actually sit, and even in your presentation, you are, you are demonstrating outcomes. Like when I saw this gentleman, he has a house of 22. That, you are even thinking like that. I think I was still in college in my mother's house. And that is amazing. And that just did it for me. So thank you so much for your doing From the testimonies I heard from the youth, the program participants, the caregivers, um, I could see that the project is having a huge and positive impact in the life of the program participants, but not only them, but also um, on you know, their entire families. Um, and I can see that the church and the leaders of this church just came together to design interventions that are very relevant and that are very high, uh, they have uh, you know, very high impact on the program participants and the families. I could see economic empowerment for the families and very relevant intervention for the youth in this uh, church. So I feel very happy, very encouraged and my hope is that in uh, the entire region of Africa um, our church partners, uh, you know, church uh, partnering with Compassion International to do child ministry, to bless the children, um, will be, you know, having the same passion and the same ownership of child ministry. Uh, so I feel very blessed and my thanks and my gratitude to the leaders of the church, uh, especially to Pastor Harriet.